Hey guys, Comic Kuno. Today I'm doing a review for Legion Lost issue 8. So let's see what's going on with this issue. Let's talk about the cover first. Um, I really like the art for the cover. Really impressed with the art. Uh, really like the art for the inside also. The interior of the comic book. Because it really is the same as the cover. And I, I actually have been really enjoying the art. Um, also really like that in Rose's shield it has a reflection of the team of Legion Law, so I thought that was kind of cool. The only thing I didn't like about this cover is that it only shows Rose, and she's not really a big part of this uh, uh, issue. Uh, the big part of the issue is the Nowhere group. Yes, she's part of the Nowhere group, but she's not a big part of this issue, and I feel like people who have been read T Titans who know a lot about the Nowhere group, because that has been the main story for seven issues and uh, I feel like uh, for those readers they'll be like oh nowhere I have to pick this up because I've been reading this in Teen Titans it might be really interesting so it might make more Teen Titan readers try to read Legion Lost and try this issue out so I thought that would have been a smarter cover and a smarter concept for this issue but let's see what's going on in the story see if I like that so um in this issue, like I said, it has to do a lot about Nowhere. Nowhere finds out that there is more teen uh, superheroes, and they are part of a team called Legion Lost. So they go find the Legion Lost team and pretty much fight them. Um, in the end, Nowhere does win because they use this Psy uh, shield and makes everyone unconscious in that area. And 2% of the people that are, that are unconscious are not going to live. Because 98% of them will recover, but the other 2% won't. But who will those people be, we don't know. Uh, so, did I like this issue? Um, I didn't love this issue because this is my second issue for Legion Lost. I read issue 7 because Tom DeFalco uh, was writing this series. I love him as a writer. He is one of my favorite writers and probably is my favorite, uh, favorite writer. But... I didn't love this issue because I still don't know these characters. I feel like they're making us jump into a story that is part of the Teen Titans, not really Legion Lost. I feel like for the prelude, it could have been more of Teen Titans territory and then make Legion Lost kind of be connected with the Teen Titans story. But I feel like it was just too soon for Legion Lost to be connected with uh, the Culling story. I just feel like to start out the story arc, I don't feel like Legion Lost should have done that. It should have been a different series to start out the Culling uh, story arc. So I just felt like, like, how does Nowhere connect to these people? Like, you do know because, all right, they're teenage superheroes, whatever. But really in this issue... There wasn't like, oh, we want these characters, we want the Legion Lost heroes because of this reason. They didn't really say that in this issue. And I felt like uh, for the people who haven't been reading Teen Titans uh, and just have been reading Legion Lost, they're going to be lost because they're going to be like, who's nowhere, what's going on? You know, they didn't really describe who nowhere is. And for me, who a uh, person that does read Teen Titans, I do know who no the nowhere group is, but... If I haven't been reading Teen Titans, I would not know, like, what's their motivation? Like, wh who are these people, really? So, uh, for people who haven't been reading Teen Titans, it's going to be kind of hard for them to understand that. And I feel like they should have explained it a little bit more in this uh, issue. Um, also, I felt like there really wasn't much story in this issue. It's more of, all right, um, nowhere against Legion Lost. Let's see who wins. It's just like the nowhere group fighting one of uh, the Legion Lost group and them just talking about fighting. Uh, there really wasn't a lot of story in this issue. So I felt like there should be more story, especially for people who just jumped on because uh, Tom DeFalco started writing this uh, series. So I felt like they should explain a little bit more of the characters, and they really didn't. And I still don't have a favorite character. I still don't know much about these characters. I know who the, the team leader is, and that's it. I feel like we should have learned a little bit more about these characters because, like I said, a lot of people have been just jumping on because of the new creative team. And especially for me, for a person who has only read two issues of this comic, I just feel like I'm not connected with these characters. And that doesn't want, it doesn't make me want to buy the next issue. So for me, for a person who hasn't been reading Legion Lost, I was lost. And for people who haven't been reading Teen Titans, I feel like they would be lost. So I just felt like this issue really 
didn't make me a fan of uh, the story arc they're calling, even though I was very excited for it. Um, and it just doesn't make me a fan of the series. I might last for another issue to pick it up just because I want to see more of the culling. I might pick up the next issue. Uh, the next issue I think is going to be like um, when we're in the story arc. So I might pick up the next issue. But because we haven't been learning about these characters and because I really, I feel like I've been wasting my money on this. Uh, reading this issue, I felt like I wasted my money because I just feel like I don't really, I couldn't get into the story because it really characters are really a main part of the story and uh, a main part to make you like a story and I felt like I don't know these characters and it's a waste of money if you don't know the characters you're reading. So like I said I might really um, pick up one more issue of this and if it's not, if it doesn't blow my mind I probably will um, drop this series because I just haven't been really loving it. And um, so I didn't really love this issue. Uh, Again, I guess maybe because I only read two issues of this series so far, and maybe for people who have read throughout the whole eight issues, they might really love this series and really love this issue. And for people who have been reading this whole series and the whole Teen Titans series, they might really love it. But for me, I like the art, the fighting, um, the action was pretty good. But that's all there were. That's all that um, they had in this issue. Uh, they only had really action, and they didn't have much story. And for new readers of this, especially for readers who are just picking this up for the Culling story arc, and just saw that it was the Culling prelude, let me pick it up. They're gonna be uh, completely lost. So um, I didn't love this issue. I give it two stars. I really didn't like it that much. And I say don't pick it up. This was Comic Uno. I hope you guys enjoyed. And also guys, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. In the description below, there'll be a link for that. It'll just have comic book news, reviews I'll be doing, and um, just uh, topic videos I'll be doing. So I hope you uh, enjoyed. And please don't forget to follow my other Twitter for my other YouTube channel, The Rant Situations. Uh, again, hope you enjoyed. I give this two stars. Um, I say don't pick it up. I guess it depends if you're a Teen Titans reader, if you've been reading this series, if you're going to like it. But for me, who just started reading this series, and for me, that just don't, because I don't know these characters, I feel like it was an issue, it was kind of a waste of money. And maybe just wait until um, the Teen Titans annual, which is going to be starting the calling story. So this is Kamikuna. See you guys.